Hey love, so we're going to jump off this spring makeup tutorial with this orange shade and I'm starting off by packing the color down using a detail, a smaller brush and I'm just packing that color down on the outer corner of my eye and then I'm just bringing it over a little bit and then I'm blurring out the edges, I'm starting to blend so that's how I blend my eyeshadow, I pack the color down first to get the most out of the color and then I blend out the edges and blend, I'm using circular motions to blend out the edges so it's not so harsh and I just repeat that step and those steps until I get my desired look. So packing it down and then I'm blending it out and that's just how you're going to get like the most color. Um, the most pigment out of the color is by packing it on and then blending it out and then I am going to take the 35B palette and I'm going to take this yellow shade and I'm going to put that in the uh, front part of my eye on the other half of my eye this look was inspired by I Love Sarah I um I don't know if it's Sarah. It's Sarah, Sarah I. I don't know how to say her name, but I'm going to link her channel below. She is so amazing, and I love this spring look that she did. So we're just getting spring started with colors. I love spring. I'm a summer baby. I love summer, and I love colorful looks. So I'm so excited that it's that time for all the colorful looks because... We're going to do so much on this channel when it comes to color. I love color. So subscribe and make sure you are up to date. And then I'm taking a, you see I'm taking an, a fluffy brush again and blurring out the edges. And then I'm taking KKW Beauty Ultra Light Beam. And that is the pigment. And this is in the color yellow gold. And I'm just packing that in the middle. I'm using a fluffy brush first. And then I'm taking a skinnier brush, a more flat, precise brush. And I spray my brush to get more pigment out of the um, pigment. <laughs> and then I packed it on even more. So this is the finished look. And it's so, it gives me vibe. It gives, it's giving me the vibes like a tequila sunrise <laughs> or something inspired but it looks really cute this backdrop is really giving me the vibes like look i love this is my newest backdrop and it, i'm so obsessed it looks so cute i love it so i'm just blending out my concealer and listening to trap music of course as always per usual um but I was going to say, if you are doing your foundation, if you have on your foundation before you do eyeshadow and eyeshadow fallout gets on your face, you can take a fluffy brush with translucent powder or um, setting powder on it and then just dust it away and it'll come right off. Everything is fine. No biggie. I usually do my um, eyeshadow looks before I do foundation, but today I just decided to switch it up. So, just in case you do yours the other way, foundation before eyes, which is not the way to go, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, yeah, that's a little tip for you guys. Um, also, for eyeshadow tips, when it comes to blending out your eyeshadows, it's best to have clean brushes, guys. Like, having clean brushes will save you so much time, and it's okay. You can never have too many brushes, like... Uh, multiple brushes just so everything is neat there's no different colors you know transferring I was using my brush that had my transition shade on there so that's why you can kind of see that brown peeking through if you use a clean brush you won't have that brown peeking through but it, honestly it didn't come out bad because it was just a trend it was just a transition shade um, but clean brushes are always the way to go with eyeshadow lips and now I'm just baking, a little baked turnip. Then I'm taking the Sweet Peach Glow um, Trio. I love this Sweet Peach. If you've been watching me, you know I love this trio. And I'm just highlighting my face with the highlight that is inside of here. I am so obsessed with this trio because it smells 
like peaches like every time I wear it I'm like I haven't even wore this in a long time but I'm highlighting my eyebrow bone sorry I'm all over the place and then um, I'm taking a small little fluffy brush and I'm just using the same colors that I use on my eye lid on my lower lash line and I'm putting yellow like an ombre effect yellow in the corners and then the orange on the outer shade and then I mean on the outer portion of my lash line and then I'm just highlighting I highlighted my inner corner with the same highlight from the sweet peach trio then I'm taking this is actually a lip liner from L'Oreal it's like a burgundy shade this is just to add a little bit more pop into my eyes I'm just put going over my lash line with this lip liner but you can get an eyeliner <laughs> but I just had a lip liner and then I'm just putting mascara on the lower lashes um but yes I love the smell of the sweet peach trio I'm using it again <laughs> for my blush I'm so obsessed it smells just like peaches I always smell it. And then I'm just adding blush. Uh, blush is just so refreshing. It makes you like it blush instantly turns you into an angel. Like <laughs> literally. I feel like an angel when I put on blush. Like so soft and just so I had no clue that there was so much glitter. I had went back and put more of the KKW pigment on my eye when I had on my lashes. And yeah. I didn't know it was so much, but um, so much on my lashes. Then I'm taking the NYX lip liner in Nutmeg, and I'm just lining my lips. And this is my favorite lip combo for the spring. And I'm, this is just clear lip gloss. Put it on glossy lips. Bomb. This is the final look. So bomb. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more spring makeup tutorials and more videos from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!